Hi, my name is Victor from Divmundo.com and today we are going to take control over the number of columns on mobile and tablet in Divi. So we're going from this default with just one column to open up for two, three, four, five and even six columns. And this goes for both mobile and tablet of course. So let's dive in. Just one thing before we start, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or even leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. That would make me very happy. Thank you. Let's dive into the blog post on divimundo.com where you'll find all the resources needed. If we scroll down, you'll find the first chapter which is adding custom CSS to enable multiple columns on mobile and tablet in Divi. And here we have the CSS code and if we click the button we will expand it and you can see that there are a few rows of CSS here. If we zoom in you can see that we start with the first part which is the mobile column uh, layouts and we have two columns for mobile, we have three columns for mobile, four columns for mobile, five columns and six columns for mobile. And then we have the second part, which is the tablet column layouts. And there we actually have one column for tablet. And the reason for this is if you use four columns in desktop, Divi will display two columns on tablet. And if you display six columns for desktop, Divi will display three columns on tablet. And sometimes maybe you don't like that, so you want to use one column instead. So that's why this option is added for tablets. And then we have two, three, four, five, and six columns for tablet as well. So you have two options here. Either you can copy the whole shebang, and to do that, you just have to click this icon up here. The second option is if you only need, for example, three columns for mobile, then you can just copy that part of the snippet like this and paste it into your custom CSS. For this example, I will copy everything. Next, we'll head over to our Divi website. From my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to Divi and Theme Customizer. And this is where I can add some custom CSS. In the bottom, we'll see additional CSS and that's where I'm heading. Let's close that one and here I will paste the CSS. This will not affect the website at all. I have to appoint these different layouts to my rows on the website. You don't have to worry that anything is going to change by just pasting this. So I click publish to save. Okay, that's the first step. The second one is to add our new CSS classes to the div rows where I want to change the number of columns for mobile and or tablet. And here we have a nice little table. Here we have the number of columns to the left. And here we have the CSS class to use for your mobile design. And last you have the CSS class to use in your tablet design. This is not at all as complicated as it looks. So I will show you a few examples. I'll head back to my website and I'll exit the theme customizer. And uh, let's go to my homepage, for example. You can use this on any page on your website. And I'll enable the visual builder. So here we have a four column row. And uh, we have a simple two column row here with the two logos. And we have the grand finale with a six column row. So let's start with the first one. And if we preview this in tablet, it will display two columns side by side by default. And if we try it out on mobile, it will display just one column. So this will be a long list. So what if I would like to display maybe two columns on mobile and four columns on tablet instead? So the first step is to open the row settings by clicking the cogwheel on the green box here. We'll head over to the advanced tab and CSS ID and classes. And now we want to add the classes for two columns in mobile and four columns in tablet. And if we head back to the blog post, we can see here that two columns in mobile, that's two call mob. And four columns in tablet, that's four call tab. So let's start with the mobile. Two, oops, two, call, mob. 
and we can immediately see that we have two columns in mobile and we can add just add a space and add four call tab and if we preview it in tablet we can see four columns it's not always the case that you can see the correct amount of columns here directly in the visual builder sometimes you just see the default columns in the preview here so if that's the case just save and uh, preview it in front end and to preview this in different mobile and tablet screen sizes just right click in chrome choose inspect and now we can use the chrome inspector up here you can see a small icon with the two devices and if we click that one we can now choose which screen size we want to preview this in so if i choose for example iphone here we can see the phone preview and we have our two columns and if i choose a tablet for example ipad mini we can see the four columns here so we can see that it worked let's have a look at this one and in desktop it looks like this with two columns let's go to the row settings the uh, advanced view css id and classes and let's add two call mob and then just a space and we say two call tab let's preview it and we have two columns in tablet and we have two columns in mobile and that looks really nice okay so the last challenge here that's the six columns so let's go to the row settings by clicking the cogwheel advanced css id and classes and actually i'm going to make a design mistake here and i'm going to add six call mob just to show you how it looks if you get a little bit greedy so the text overflows and uh, actually the icons are squeezed so they are now invisible be careful with this don't add too many columns on mobile or tablet but maybe three columns would look better and yes it does you can combine this of course with the regular dv mobile design settings by going to design and now let's close this one i was in the row design settings let's go to these blurbs so maybe I can add some mobile tweaks here to make it look be even better. So for example, I can put this icon on top of the title instead of to the left. That would free some space here and we like white space. So if I go to the design tab for the blurb, image and icon, we can see that the image and icon is placed to the left and I would like to keep that in desktop. So if I hover it, you can see that we have this responsive design icon. So I click it and I say this setting should just be for phones. And instead of left, I choose top. There we go. And uh, now I would like to center align this text, but just for mobile. So I click the pencil there or the pen to go to the settings and the title text alignment and the same thing here i'll click the phone icon here to make sure that this only applies to um, phone the phone view and not desktop and let's center align it and there we go looks a little bit better and now i can actually extend this design setting to all my blurbs by just right clicking and choose extend the blurb styles and let's keep it to this section and extend and now we have a different design on um, mobile than on desktop another thing you can use if there's a bit squeezed here or, or if you want more of a white space that's to make the text smaller and then we use the responsive design settings again by clicking this icon and we can make it a little bit smaller and another thing you can use is spacing now there's no 
custom padding in here, but if you would have, for example, 30 pixels to the right and the left, you could re reduce it to maybe like 10 pixels or so, just to let the content have more space. So there's a few things you can, can use to combine these new column settings with the Divi responsive design settings. Okay, so we have the tablet too. Let's have a look at that one. And by default, the six columns on desktop becomes three columns on tablet. Let's try it out with six columns on tablet. So I'll go to the advanced tab, custom CSS. Ah, sorry, I'm in the blurb settings now. Let's close that one and go to the row settings and click advanced, CSS ID and classes. Just add a space and add six call tab and now we can see the six columns but we can also see that the icons are a little bit squeezed so maybe we could use the same trick as i showed you in the mobile settings going to the blurb and uh, move the icons on top let's see design image and icon and here we have tablet activated let's go to top and let's fix the text alignment, which is left by default, but now we'll go for centered. And let's extend, extend these styles to all the blurbs here in this section. Looks pretty good. And of course, in DV, you have different bone screen sizes and tablet screen sizes that you can preview it on to see that it looks good everywhere. Okay guys, this last step is just a bonus, so you don't have to use it, but I think it's really cool. And it's all about combining the Divi Global Presets feature together with this new mobile and tablet column layouts. So if you're not familiar with the Divi Global Presets yet, I highly recommend you to study it and learn it, because it will make your web design process so much more efficient. So just to summarize it, uh, the Global Presets you can create a design for, for example, a section, a row or a module, and then you can save it as a global preset, and then you can apply it to any element on your website. And uh, this will save you lot, lots of time because you don't have to make like seven different design settings to each element as you design. You just say that this should be this or that preset. And if you would like to change something, for example, the background color or um, the font or the font size afterwards, you don't have to edit every single element on your website. You just go to your global preset and you make the change there and it will apply automatically site wide to the elements that uses this preset. So this is awesome. So what I want to achieve here is that I want to create a list uh, of different row presets that I just can use and choose from a drop down so I don't have to um, add a custom CSS class each time. So the first step that you have to do that's to paste the CSS snippets into your theme customizer as we did in chapter one. Then we have to create the different row presets. So that's what we are going to do now. So I'll head over to my website. I'll start by inserting a new row and we can use a single column row. That doesn't matter. And we don't need to insert any modules. So I'll just close that one. Now let's enter the row settings by clicking the cog wheel. And uh, let's head over to the advanced tab and the CSS ID and classes. So let's create our first row preset. And let's say that we want it to be a two call mob, two call tab. So we want this to be two columns in mobile and two columns in tablet. So to save this as a preset, I'll head over to the presets tab or the drop down and I'll click it. And I want to create a new preset from the current styles. So let's give it a name. We call it to call mob and we'll have a divider and to call tab and make sure that this is set to no because you don't want this to be the default setting on your entire website you want to be able to choose this on specific rows so i'll say by clicking the green button 
and uh, let's save it here too. And now you can just go on and create as many presets you like and then just apply them to the new rows you create or to the old rows that you want to change. And one last thing, let's say that you want to use four columns in tablet but you want to keep the default value which is one column in mobile. Yeah, that's an easy thing to achieve. Just don't add any CSS class for the mobile columns. Just add your four call tab for the four columns in tablet and Divi will take care of the rest and show you the default one column in mobile. Oh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way.